Hunter, are you having fun? Yeah! Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Agnes. I have two boys, Hunter and Paxton. Paxton just turned two and Hunter is four and a half. They love to play with toys. They love to just run around and be crazy. So since it is close to Christmas time, I wanted to share some toys that they absolutely love to play with and that I think is like a good learning tool or whatnot. So that is what this video is going to be. Thank you. They're over here playing, so if you hear them, they're just right here. So if you like gift guide idea videos, then give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new, go subscribe. Thank you. Go hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So let's jump right into this video. All right, so the first gift idea that I think is a good idea and that the boys also like to play with are these felt um, learning tools. This one has shapes and numbers in them. Hey guys, can sit down? Um, this one has numbers and it's like a puzzle piece type deal going on. If I could pull one out for you. Okay, so one side has the number and the word. It also has it in Spanish. And then the other side just has a dot on it and they have to match the pieces together. Yeah, one the spoon. Good job. And then the last one is letters, where it's like a picture, and it has the letter on it, and it says V is for violin. So that's what these are. They're oh, actually nice. pretty cool and cute. That one is owl. Um, the other one that I didn't show you with the shapes, um, they just look like this. These are the numbers. They have the dots on them. And then the shapes are just shapes with the word of the shape on the shape. So I got those at the Target Dollar Spot last year. Um, I'm not sure if they would be like on Amazon or if they sell them at Target. I can look it up. I can link everything that I can find down in the description. Thank you. I can link everything that I find down in the, in the description box for you um, if I can find it. So I think I'm just going to stay on the learning path of things right now and then I will show like the toy toys, like the playing toys at the end. So the next learning thing that I have... Um, that the boys love and Hunter's actually playing with a set of them right now are these letters I and numbers. There's numbers in here too. So they're just the foam. They're actually bath toys, I think. So they're the foam bath toys, but we just like to play with them outside of the bath um, just for a learning thing. We could play with them in the bath, but we just don't. These ones have little patterns on them, like dots and stripes and squares and stars and whatnot. So that's what this one is, just the foam letters. I think that's a good learning tool. We have the designed ones, and then Hunter's playing with just the plain um, colored ones. So you can work on with a, a younger toddler, like colors, and also the alphabet. With your older toddler, like Hunter, he's learning how to spell a lot of words, so we use them to spell words, so we really like these in our home. The next learning tool, toy that I have for you 
is this caterpillar by Melissa and Doug. I thought this was super cute. I got this for Paxton last Christmas um, on Amazon. So that's where you could get it. And yeah, they're just gears and you turn them and you can see how they turn. You can take them off to match the color. Yeah, it's a good fine motor um, toy to play with. So that's why I got it for him last year when he was just turning one so he can learn how to use his fingers a little more. Another toy that I got for Paxton last Christmas are these Kids Lane um, Matching Count Eggs. So I got this off of Amazon as well. They just come in this yellow carton and they look like eggs, which I thought was so cute as well. You could do a lot of things with these. They open up and they're all different colors. They all have a different number of pegs with the number actually in there. You can't really tell with this lighting, but this one is 12. So you could practice fine motor skills. You could practice colors. You could practice numbers. You can practice putting them in the carton itself. You can play with these in a play kitchen. There's a lot of things that you can do with just this one toy. Alright, so the next toy that I have for you is this fishing game. And we're missing the bottom pieces, but there's like another piece that clips onto here and it has a magnet on it. So it's a fishing game and it comes with this mesh bag. And inside the bag, there's a spinner with a little worm on it and numbers and colors. Oh, here's the little clip thing that go on the bottom of the fishing pole. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Fishing pole. And this is a magnet. And you use the fishing pole magnet to catch these different colorful fish and they also have numbers on them as well so that's a fun little learning game for the kiddos they learn how to use like hand eye coordination to try to get the magnet onto the magnet on the fish they learn colors they learn numbers so it's a really good game for learning but also to have fun another learning toy that we have is this um, shape cube and they have a bunch of different kinds of these they have plastic ones wooden ones this one's a mickey mouse one it has his face on it and just a couple of the signs but yeah it just comes with all these shapes inside and they your child can practice how to stick them and match them to the right hole which obviously i can't do right now there we go so I think these types of toys are fun for the kids because they're obviously fun for them. They're different colors, shapes, and whatnot. Um, and it's also educational, which I'm all for. And I also like the wooden ones. I prefer the wooden ones over the plastic ones, but we also have a plastic one as well. Alright, so I just noticed that like pretty much all of these toys are like learning toys so it's just what it is. I have learning toys for you guys but they're also like play toys anyway so we're just going to continue now. So the next toy that I have for you, I have a couple of them. It's these string toys and this one is like a string and beep. It's Alex toy. I got this off of Amazon as well. So I can link it down in the, in the description for you. I can never say that. But yeah, you just take it. You take the car and you string it on to the string. So that's a good small motor activity for your toddler. We also have a Mickey Mouse one just like that. So it comes with circles, stars, and squares with a string in there. So that's pretty much the same thing. You just string the blocks on to the string that it comes with. And then to go along with that um, stringing activity, I like 
these little wooden puzzles. We have like a castle and a knight themed one. And then my mom bought the boys animal ones. The boys like to do this. I still need to help Paxton out just a little bit because the holes are really small. But yes. really, this is a good activity to do with your toddlers as well to practice small motor skills. So the next toy is blocks. So we have these wooden ones. This was Paxton's gift, I believe, for his birthday last year. So when he turned one, we got him this giant thing of blocks because he loves building blocks. And then this was gifted to Hunter about like, I don't even know, two years ago maybe? And I think I got this for him as Hobby Lobby. So if I can find one, which I'm sure I can, I will link it down in the description for both of these. But these are just wooden blocks with holes in them and it comes with a bunch of pegs as well. So the boys love to build with these. Hunter likes to make robots like on the front. So these are good. Um, small motor skill, like hand-eye coordination, colors, um, I don't know, even shapes. There's rectangles and squares in here and these are circles or cylinders. So this is fun to play with with your kids. And then the wooden ones, they're just your good old fashioned wooden blocks. There's some that are just wood color, and then there's like different colored ones in here. Some of them have pictures on them. So these are a lot of fun. The boys like to build towers, and Paxton loves to knock them down. Right? You like to knock the towers down? Oh, no. Yeah? All right, here. Go play with them over here. We come to the end of the video with the last toy here. This one is like a toy toy, like you, just your usual toy in the store that your kid just wants because they want it. But it is, this is missing the top piece here, but this is like a VTech garage type thing. So this goes up and down. There's a garage here, there's a car wash over here, and like a slide and everything. So this one was gifted to Hunter, I think about three years ago. Yeah. I'm sure I could find it, so I'll link it down below. But it is a VTech toy. It does come with a car as well. <coughs> and then just two days ago was Paxton's birthday, so for his second birthday, I wanted to get him another race car track or like more of a race car track type thing. So we got him this one. This one is a VTech toy as well. Um, it comes with two slides and a couple other pieces here. And this is um, a double level thing. It does come off. I could get it off. <laughs> And you could do like two slides. There's one where you could like make this one giant slide. So these are cool. You just put the car here and lift this up to shoot the car down the slide. And like I said, you could do a double decker one. You could do two side by side. Or there's another one where you could just make like a really long slide as it is. And usually these types of toys, they can connect um with each other like this slide has a, another connect here so like if i wanted to make it longer i could connect one of the slides on this new toy on here but it doesn't seem like these two connect as one like to be one whole one so i think another one might connect to this going along with the car track theme the boys love Hot Wheels cars. You can't go wrong with Hot Wheels cars. They're not just for boys. You can get them for girls. I played with Hot Wheels when I was younger, although I did have a brother, so they were his, but I like to play with them as well. And yeah, I don't think it's it, it should only be for boys. Girls love cars too. So they like to play with Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels cars on these tracks. 
but like I said, they do come with their own cars as well. Alright, so these are the cars that go with the Tech Toys. This one, the convertible, came with the garage toy. And then this race car one, that looks pretty cool, came with this toy, the racetrack. And then... I, I believe Hexter was gifted this one. It's just a regular car. It has a car on it. And they make noise like that and talk to you. But this one I believe was just gifted to Paxton last year, either for his birthday or Christmas. So I can link everything down in the description like I have been saying. Um, if I could find it, I'm sure I could find most of this. Um, this is new, so definitely can link this. And yeah, I hope you got some ideas for gifts to give to your kids. I know this is all like older toys from last year or years before, but I have not bought their Christmas gifts yet, and it's already December, so that's a little procrastination on my part. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you like any new toys from this year except this one, the racetrack one, but all of these toys I love, the boys love them, they're educational, they're fun, and yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, also don't forget to go subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss our videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Alright guys, hi again. I just wanted to hop back on and I forgot I wanted to show you the guys these for gift ideas. They're just a couple games that we have. Some are, <laughs> some are educational, some are just like fun to play. So I'm just going to show you just a few of them. So first we have Connect 4. The boys love this. It's just a fun game to play. Of course it comes with legs which are over there. But yeah, it's also, it's not only just a game. You could also use Connect 4 as like a small motor skill activity for your younger toddlers. So that's a plus. The next game that I have is Candyland. This is one of the first games that we got for Hunter and he loved it. He was a little bit younger when we got it for him so he didn't really grasp the concept of playing the game. But we did focus on colors with this game, and we do the same thing with Paxton now. So Candyland focuses on colors if you're looking for like a learning aspect of it. Next two items that I have are a learning toy activity. The first one is this Mathematics Match It. So it's like a puzzle. They come with pictures on one side and then the number on the other side. So you have to match. There's also like an adding and subtracting puzzles in there as well to get that math um, stuff out of the way as well. And then along with that one there is an ABCs one where there's a picture on one side with the word underneath it and then on the other puzzle piece there's the uppercase letter, the lowercase letter, and the word that matches the picture. So my mom got these, I believe, at Five Below um, about like two or three years ago now. I'm pretty sure they still sell puzzles like these at like Target or Walmart or something. So if I could find similar ones or the same ones, I'll link them down below for you. And then the last game that we have, it is a learning game and my brother got this for Hunter for his birthday, so that was back in May. So it wasn't too long ago, it was still this year. But I think it's really cool because it's this Eric Carl um, game, and like it's an actual board game. And it comes with a spinner and some pieces, and it comes with a bunch of cards with uppercase letters and lowercase letters on them, and um, words of animals that are are in the Eric Carle books, so it's actually really cool that it like coincides with each other. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar Spin and Seek, so 
doesn't just focus on the very hungry caterpillar, but it there's like brown bear, brown bear in there and everything. But yeah, you pretty much spin the spinner. Here, I'll show you. So here's the spinner. It has, well, let's see, one, two, three, and four, and then there's two bigs and two littles. Whatever you spin it on, you could either move that many spaces with the number, or if it lands on a little, you could find the little letter or a big letter. So, and by letter, I mean like the next letter in line. So like if you're on, say, B, and you land on little, so then you go on to C, and you go to little C. So that's how you play the game. And it's pretty fun, it's pretty cool, it's educational, but it's fun and learning. And then I guess Hunter does want me to show this one. It's just a fun little game that he plays. It comes with this tree. There's like three pieces to it. So it's this tree and it has holes in it because you hang all these little monkeys on there. So they hang on there like so. Well, the goal of the game is you have these little shooters and you have to put the monkey right here. So you try to shoot the monkey off of this little catapult thing <laughs> onto the tree and I don't know, I, I haven't played the game by the rules because it's just too complicated for their age group. So we kind of just like try to play for fun trying to shoot the monkeys onto the tree. But I guess the concept of the game is to like whoever gets the most on their wins or something like that. I don't know. Those are the games we have. The only other like kid game that we have is, well there's two I guess. There's Hungry Hungry Hippo which Paxton just got for his birthday. Just a fun little game to play. And then we have like the one of those go fishing games. So yeah, just the game that comes with the little hook and then it has like the fish that go around in a circle and you have to try to fish the fish out of the game. But we have the Dory Edition game so it comes with like little shells instead of fish and then on the hook there is a little Dory on it. So I'll try to find that for you as well and link it down in the description and yeah, those are the games that we have that I just wanted to show you. Here it is. It just comes with little shells instead of fish. Those are the games that we have that I just wanted to show you really quickly and I just forgot to show you.